Oh, welcome back, everybody. I thought I was going to have a projector uh, side-scrolling level. Oswald copied as best he could. He wanted us characters happy. Characters? Characters the world stopped watching and stopped loving. Rough drafts, extras, anyone who didn't work out right. Characters left on the drawing board. Most lived here in Oswald's recreation of the magical place. He sets up shops and ice cream parlor. It was home before... Before what? Before the thinner disaster. That's when the life went out of white wasteland. Dude's just staring into it. And those things are surfing on it. That's when the blot arrived and his flunkies. I cut that out. Welcome to Mean Street. That, that dude was just about to head into the thinner. Mickey! Gus! Hello, Uncle Gus. Good to meet you, Marcus. By any chance, have you seen Oswald lately? Last time I saw him, he was headed toward the projector screen, the end of the street. Those have been broken for a long time now. Together, Pete and Horace would fix them, but they're they'll, they're likely uh, want something in return for their help. Oh, okay. I can get that projector screen running again. Get me a pair of gears. Horace can probably be found in the detective agency. I know he has one. Pete used to brag about his gear. He's usually hanging around the city hall. Be waiting outside the Penny Arcade. So yeah, definitely Disneyland vibes. I mean, this is this is Main Street. The quest. Okay. So let's go talk to Pete first. Just cause. Gosh, lots of these characters look alike. <laughs> okay, I really can't do Mickey. Different versions for er, same characters, different versions. Yeah, it is. Does seem a li little weird that Pete is in the forgotten area. Big bad Pete, Pete Pan, small Pete, Petatronic. This place has lots of me. Good thing it's done in Wasteland. She should work with us, and nobody will mess you up or er, mess with you. Big Bad Pete, the one and only. I'm the go-to guy around here, and don't you forget it. Nothing gets done if it ain't... Around? What? I hears about everything, including your running with Small Pete back in the world of Gremlins. <laughs> so here, have some e-tickets, but don't think this means I decided to like you. Small Pete may be a real chatterhead, but I'm glad you helped him. Even though I knows you're in need of a gear that I'm rumored to have. Well, here's the deal of the gear. Big Mouth Guild is always bragging about how fast she is, so I set up a race for her. Told her I'd give her a prize if she could beat it. Seeing as how I didn't think she could. Well, anyway, she did. But we never agreed on no prize, so I gave her that worthless gear. Ha! Bottom line is, I don't got it no more. The girl over by the fire station does. So, I can't help you even if I want to. But maybe she can. Otherwise, though... Or, otherwise, tough luck, Pally. Oh, I got a small peep pin. Oh yeah, that's right, about the Guardians. Uh, fire station. Oh, the fire station is right there. It's right next door. Duh. I mean, I know, I know Disneyland. Actually, okay. Hey there, I'm Gilda. I'm a bit adventurous like yourself. Just got back from Mickey Junk Mountain. That's a scary place. I was camping in the old collector's hut when Blot Blotlane showed up. Had to get out fast. Thought being up on the ledge was safe, but I was wrong. Left my prized climbing axe behind. Oh well, maybe I'll come across another one soon. But anyway, Gilda's lost axe. I need to find it. Uh. Okay. Yes, let's try. Let's try that race. Uh, anyways, so the Disneyland Firehouse. On top of that is an apartment. That was the apartment Walt Disney would stay in. When he was staying at the parks. That's Walt's apartment. They keep the light in there because the light's going in there because it's Walt's apartment. Like, they keep a candle or a lamp, maybe? Like a kerosene lamp? 
Um, okay, that was a little obnoxious, having that in the way. Uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, they always have that lamp going in front of the uh, window. Steamboat Oswald. Finished. Oh, great job, Mickey. As promised, here's the gear you wanted. Got Okay, we got that gear. Now let's get the one from Horace. Uh, and his detective agency is right there. It was great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Okay, that's the Opera House. Oh, is it a store? Oh yeah, it's a museum, that's right. Seems fitting that the Opera House should be the museum. I don't know why. Laura Lee, the curator of this place. Don't have much right now, but feel free to look around. Wasteland itself is a big, kind of a big museum. You know what I mean? We do have one new exhibit. See it glowing? <sighs> Pardon me. Um, I believe that's something I need, too. Like, eventually. So what exactly is that? We used to have wonderful artifacts, but they all walked away, some of them literally. Okay, so we need to get more art, uh, we need to find artifacts for them. Okay. I guess there's no need to get that. I was already full, wasn't I? I was hoping for e-tickets, maybe? Welcome to Horse Collar Investigations. Can I? Oh my! Mickey, do you remember me? Horse 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 Collar. Yeah, I do remember you, Horse. I was in the Firefighters, the Barnyard bro Broadcast, Band Concert. That one was famous. Hey, that one is pretty famous. Don't remember, huh? That's all right. Nobody else did. So I went up here. Same as everyone else. Yeah, we need more Horace and Clara, Bella and Clara. You're in wait Wasteland. I'm an ace detective. At least, I'd like to be. I haven't solved a case in years, but if you need an investigator, I'm your guy. Business is down these days, but I'm sure it will pick up any time now. I have one of the computers that is used to power up the projector screen machine of Tuastown. I can give it to you, but I need you to do something for me first. Casey, the Emporium owner, borrowed a book from me a while back, but never returned it. Is it The Illusion of Living by Joey Drew? Can you get, see if he still has it? Bring it back to me. I'll bring, give you the gear. Okay. Let's get the, that's halfway up Main Street. Or no, uh. Maybe I did know about the map. Um. Did he say the Emporium? Because that's right here. Oh, the ice cream parlor is what's half up. For some reason, I thought that there was nothing on this corner. At least it wasn't the Emporium, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, come on. Hi there, and welcome to the Emporium. My name is Casey, and I've been running this shop for a long time. If you ever need anything, this is the place to get it. This is the place to get it. Did Horace send you? I understand you're looking for Horace's book. Well, that's a problem. Finished reading it a while ago, and I lent it to Polly, the ice cream parlor owner. His shop is just down the street from here. You should go and ask him about it. Hey, can I buy stuff from you yet? Okay, I can buy some pins. I can buy thinner. Or, okay. Allows me to carry more tickets. I haven't met the cap yet. So, that does not seem like a great idea to me. I have no idea what the cap is. I'm gonna guess 500, but I'm not sure. Okay, that's the ice cream parlor right there. Yeah, that's why I walked into the doors. 
Oh, and they actually have the elephant that was in the ice cream parlor at Disneyland. I believe the ice cream parlor is now the Starbucks? Is that what happened? What happened to the elephant? Um, but yeah, anyways, ice cream. It's rare. Okay, we got Horace's book. Okay, so I guess we can't purchase... Maybe health upgrades. But thinner and paint upgrades are from just doing stuff. Yep. Okay, horse. Ready to give me that cog or gear or whatever? How to be a detective. Here's the gear. Okay, I know the first time around, I didn't do something for Horace. Like, I didn't get the good ending with Horace. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave. So, um... Extra, extra, mysterious new tune sighted in Wasteland. Yeah, I think that might be me. Isn't this... Wait. Okay, we can go and see cartoons in there, is that what's up? Okay. So, um... See? Oswald make it all just like the other park. Eh, with a small difference. That's actually weird that... Well, uh, that's kinda... Actually touching that he recognizes Walt and all that. Yeah. Partners with Oswald in it. It's a little different. That is kind of touching. Uh, is this the one? Okay. Um, what do I have to do? Do I have to talk to somebody to do it? Hello? Okay. Let's look at the quest. Yeshua will reward you for collecting... Oh, that's the dude I just talked to. I've collected... Oh, that's right. I had to go talk to the gremlin. Duh. I should have known that. Okay, so this dude right here. Okay, so... Now all this takes us to Oztown. Oh, okay, so I need to find one of those sparks. Crap. Oh, okay, right. That's what it was, a spark. Uh, no, not Horace's. It's this building, the Opera House. Okay, it's a museum in this, but... To me, it's the Opera House. What? You need the crazy glowing orb in the display case, but that's the most interesting thing I have to show right now. Sad, huh? Well, you have the power spark if you can find something more interesting to replace it. All sorts of things are left behind in the cinema. You should talk to the Astro there. I Fetch quests. I kind of forgot about them. But, oh well. So, talk to the projector dude again. Hopefully he just gives me whatever I need and... Oh, I didn't mean to talk to her. Um. But yeah, anyways, um. Hopefully he just gives me whatever it is and I don't have to go searching for it. I have a cutlass that was left here by Captain Hook himself. Are you looking for something for the museum? Yeah, I guess Hook's cutlass would be a good exhibit. Since you have already brought me some film strips to me, I'll go. Cool, free. 
Sweet. Swashbuckler pin. Okay, so... Uh, there was a... Uh... Bra shop? I don't know if it actually sold items or was just like a display for bras and whatnot, like a local company, but there was a bra shop in Disneyland when it opened. Um, Tyler, look up the company. I don't remember it off the top of my head. And they had something in there that was hosted by the wonderful Wizard of Bras. I'm not making this stuff up. Okay, yes. I'm ready to leave the museum. Okay, and I believe when we go to the other projectors, it's going to take more power sparks. Like, every projector is substantially more. Or maybe not substantially, but definitely an increase. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to hit paint. Okay. Looks kind of like a camera. Kind of. Definitely doesn't look like a penny arcade. Oh, cool, he gave me e-tickets. Gonna go ride the Matterhorn. No, the mansion. Mansion's better. What's up with the... tree... Tr uh... The tree trunk around Walt's legs. Through the mirror. Okay. Yes, let's go to Oztown. It's basically Toontown. Civil is a little different in that you actually have to go up to the mirror and go into it. Oh, crap. Okay. Let's wait for... Okay, cool. Sweet. Okay, so watch out for the pin. Or the sewing needle. I was just at 420. Blaze it. that's everything. I mean, I do definitely come back to this. Just like I've been to Steamboat Willie a couple of times, there's a couple of those. Yes, let's go to Oztown. Yeah, the ones that are actually in between important different areas, like, we have to go between Oztown and Main Street a couple of times. So, the projectors, I guess, aren't too terrible. Le the levels aren't too terribly obnoxious. <sighs> I always liked that Oswald statue. Fellow stay in front of the gag factory is named Moody. He's Moody. There's Clarabelle Cow. Land sakes? Seriously, land sakes? How does he not remember them? Yeah, that's not- oh my god. Oh my god. They, they, they just mentioned Mickey's Meller drama and showed a picture of her right before she was about to go blackface. Like, that jar she was holding upside down that was some stuff that she smothered on her face to go blackface. Yikes. And here's what's really crazy. A cartoon where we see Mickey Mouse, Clarabelle Cow, and Goofy, although Goofy was unintentional, go blackface. That's been released on DVD, but somehow A Song of the South hasn't. I mean, it, it just seems weird. It seems like 
I, I can't say Mickey's melodrama is worse than Song of the South, especially since I've never seen Song of the South. But I would think the same reason they don't release Song of the South, they wouldn't release Mickey's melodrama. Uh, I can't remember if I've actually mentioned it on video before, but Mickey's melodrama is um, the group putting on a uh, Uncle Tom's Cabin play. I'll let that sink in. And what's really, like, crazy to me is that, um... A few years later, Warner Brothers also did a, um... Uncle Tom's Cabin cartoon, although it was not, you know, Looney Tunes, it was just Merry Melodies. Um... And somehow... Like... Neither of them followed the plot of the book that well, but a lot of the diversions were the same. Like, basically, Eva and Topsy are playing and having fun, then Legree somehow gets involved, and they have to, you know, escape from, or they have to take on Legree, all that. Um, there are some differences, and then, after, you know, in the Mickey Mouse one, it's after um, Legree that they have Eliza crossing the ice after Legree. Uh, and, um, yeah, and that's before, way before, um, that's way before Legree in the book, Eliza crossing, crossing the ice. And, um, in the Warner Brothers one, it is Eliza taking Eva and Topsy across the river to get away from Legree. Um, I've really gone on a tangent here. But, um, yeah. Basically, it's the same order. It's weird. Hello? 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 Mickey Mouse, welcome to Wasteland version of your house. Isn't there a quest I get from him? I'll bet telephones haven't changed much since my day, huh? Uh, sure, why not? Um... But, um, yeah. Uh... I do personally feel... I mean, neither of them are great. Neither of them are great. But I kinda do feel like the Warner Brothers one has... is a little worse. Because it, ha it reinforces some stereotypes. Whereas the Disney one, there's a considerable amount less stereotypes. Don't I want it to drop on Moody? Isn't that a thing I want to happen? Okay, so I got that dude. Um, maybe that's not what I had to do. Alright, so the, I need to talk to the phone. He has the wrench, apparently. Hmm. Did I fail a mission because I took Moody out? I almost said Grumpy. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, let's talk to this Goofy head. That's Goofy. I mean, sort of. It's animatronic Goofy. Oswald built him with the Mad Doctor's help. Oswald wanted a friend like your pal Goofy. Gosh! Hello, Mickey! Oh my god, there's this dude on YouTube that has recorded several songs doing a Goofy imitation, and... I mean, if you are looking for discrepancies, you can find a few, but it's actually really good. Like, hearing Goofy sing, um, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence, that's, that's pretty good. But yeah, anyways, uh, we need to find his body parts. Oh, and, uh, he said they're in Tomorrow City, so Tomorrowland. Okay, um, so I need to go talk to the phone again the wrench. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to that dude. Hmm. 
Oh, that dude hasn't ate in a long time. Okay, talk to the phone. Oh, come on! Hey. Prescott wants his wrench back? No way. Look, if he gets his wrench back, he's going to disassemble me. Disassemble! He's still mad that I had him locked up in this, that safe. Remember, though, he had it coming. Anyway, I can tell you need the wrench, so I'll tell you what. If you help me restore my signal to Mean Street, I'll give you the wrench. There are three power boxes like this one around Austown. Enabling them will allow me to reach people in Main, mean Street. Okay, so... Get those boxes. Cool. So... I need to remember where they all are. I think there's one on, um... No, let's let's get do this. Let's just do this. Okay, so there's one. Um Okay, oh I see. I see. The one was already there. Okay. They're all in this area, right? believe there's one up here. Yes. Two more to go. Hmm. I'm going right into the... Oh, I guess I'm not. Okay, I know... I remember kind of what I have to do for one of them. Is it in Clarabelle's yard? I believe it is. Well, oh, that's not Clarabelle's, that's Hortensia's. Mickey Mouse! What do you think you're doing? This is a flower garden. Not, oh, whatever. Um, ah, there it is. One more. Okay, so where is it? That's the question. Let's check on the back of her house. I mean, I doubt it, but... Hmm. Maybe up the gag factory? Maybe? Oop. Sorry, ma'am. Is that all the way over there? Oh, is it a projector screen? I think it might just be a projector screen. I don't know why, but I feel like I need to restore this house for some reason. Uh, pick up that paint. Thank you. Okay, that becomes Moody's house, right? on the side of the building? No. Nah. Any more pits? Where might a pit be? Jeez. 
nightmare is this last one? Probably shouldn't have dropped the safe on Moody. I mean, it seems like it wouldn't be up there because there was already one, but... Oh. Oh, he wants me to thin everything. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess we could do that. Oh, I want the mailbox. It helps me get up. No, 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 I didn't mean to talk to him. I wanted to jump up. When I want to talk to somebody, I jump. When I want to jump, I talk to somebody. Oh, no, I want thinner, not paint. Oh, and there's that box, that's right. Okay, is that everything? Oh, I guess there's more. Oh, crud. That makes sense. Uh, might... Okay, I guess not. I was thinking maybe that uh, there's a pit that down that way. Maybe it's the mailbox. Okay, dude. Talk to me. What? Where? Oh. Okay, I think I see it. Uh, maybe not? Uh, what am I missing? Barrels? No. Come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, and it gets me another one of those orbs. Cool. Or spor sparks. I almost said sporks. Something very different. Don't think there's one up here, but maybe. Damn it, I was hoping for some paint. Okay. Okay, there's nothing on that. I'm not surprised, though. Is it hidden? It's gotta be somewhere. What you doing? Hanging around in my backyard? It's my backyard. Clarabelle's yard, so already done that one. The heck is it?
Did I just see something gleaming? Huh, I guess not. Jeez, where am I going? Just a lamp. Hey. And he said they were all in Oztown, correct? None of them were on Mean Street? Yeah, Oztown, okay. Hmm. Oh, sorry, Gremlin dude. It's... Where is it? It's in there. I saw it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go talk to the phone. I'm not getting trapped on that wall. Hey. Oh crap, he's actually melted in there. Um. Oops. I don't think I knew that would happen. Okay. Talk to the telly. Cool. We got the wrench back, so we could give it to that dude that I melted. Sweet. So, 726. That's what he said I need to press when I'm up there? Hopefully that dude's unmelted. Uh, it's nowhere to be seen. Oh, he's melted over this way. Okay, so that is something I could do. Okay. All right, here I go. Okay, got the bridge repair down. Um, so what is this? Okay, it's a black and white cartoon, I know that. Is it Steamboat again? And when do we get to the Oswald cartoons? Because I know that we do, um, get to Oswald cartoons in the projectors. Hey, at least I got the e-ticket. That's pretty sweet. Um, ah, okay. I think I missed out on that film reel. That's okay. So I'm pretty sure I go through this several times. Well, let's see what's in the house. If I can. I don't think I can. Okay. Then let's just go on to Mickey Junk Mountain. <coughs> okay. So, um... Well, let's see if there's a little cinematic on the other side of this. But it's definitely been long enough on this episode. So let's just see where it takes us.
There's the mountain we have to climb. Oswald's sanctuary is up at the top. It won't be easy to reach him. He doesn't really want any visitors. Oh, bunny children. Wonderful. Bunny children may look cute, but don't let them too many crowd around you, or they become significantly less cute. And when they see a spatter, they get entirely uncute, from the spatter's perspective anyway. I vaguely recall that old crane being powered by some sort of electrical system. There appears to be an operator on duty. We should ask him for more information. And we need to seek out Oswald. But yeah, Mickey Junk Mountain. It's a mountain made out of a whole bunch of Mickey Junk. Okay, well, take care, everyone. Um, if you like this one, like, comment, subscribe, and that is a creepy-looking Mickey there. What is up with his mouth? Anyways, um, yeah, if you like this one, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, that's fine. Um, but yeah, take care, and remember you are valid. Bye-bye.